Hey Algebra Kids, welcome back. This is Mrs. Thompson. We're going to do and start our last example for section 9-5. Go ahead and change this to example 4. I made a little mistake there. This is actually example 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare now to different kinds of functions. It could be a linear with a quadratic or a linear with an exponential or an exponential with a or quadratic. You just never know, but they're going to be mixed up for you. Okay? Remember the first example we compared two linears. Example two, we compared two exponentials. Example three, we compared two quadratics. Example four, we're going to mix them up. To me, the hardest part of this particular example is they're not giving you the graph. They're not giving you the equation. You got to come up with the equation just from what they gave you. And that can be very daunting and very challenging for a lot of students. So let's get this started. Let me read it to you. A town has approximately a thousand homes. So this town, this is their starting amount. That's what we already got. We got a thousand. We want to get more. And we're going to, the town council is considering two different plans for development. Plan A, let's make a chart here. Plan A and then plan B. Okay, we want to compare them. We want to see which one's good, which one's not. You are going to need your calculator, so please have that handy. All right, so plan A calls for an increase of 200 homes per year. Okay, now when I see something per something, that is a rate. Homes per year, miles per hour, inches per day okay that's rate that is a slope so they gave you slope here the y-intercept is going to be the starting spot which is a thousand homes that's what's already there this is going to end up being a linear function 200x plus a thousand okay so it's going to end up plan a is going to be linear because we detected a slope Okay, now plan B calls for a 10% increase each year. Okay, I see percent and I think exponential. That's just what I think. So we're going to plug into y equals a times b to the x. A is your starting amount. We're starting with a thousand homes. The hardest part is figuring out what b is. Now, what I have invariably is I have students who go, oh, 10%, and they plug a 0.1 right there. Well, if you put a 0.1 in those parentheses, you're not growing. You're decreasing, okay? So remember, 10% increase every year. That's 10% above 100%. So what's 100% plus 10%? That's 110%. So that's 100% plus 10%, that's 110%, which is what decimal? 1.1. There's your 10% increase. It has to be a number bigger than 1 for it to indicate growth. Okay? Uh, that is something that kids miss all the time. They see that percent and they get gung-ho and they throw it in there only to realize they missed it. Okay, turn the calculator on. Hit your y equals, clear out whatever's there. All right, we're going to put this for the y1, okay? So do 200x plus 1,000, and then arrow down the y2. We're going to make this one y2. Do 1,000, parentheses, 1.1, parentheses, raised to the x. We're going to have to adjust our window. So hit window before we graph it. Um, this will be a quadrant one graph, so you can keep X minimum at zero. Let's let X maximum. Um, X is in terms of years, because remember 200 homes per year, 10% increase each year. X is your year. So let's change that number to 20. And let's actually go back. Let's make it 30. And X scale, let's go by threes. Y minimum, keep it at zero. Y maximum, now remember, we're starting with a thousand homes. So our number needs to be pretty big. 
So let's put in one or 10,000 with a Y scale of going by 1,000. All right, now graph it. Now the first one you see, if you have a color graph like I do, if you have the plus C silver edition, TI-84 or higher, you're going to see it in color. The first line is blue in a straight line. That's We put the linear in the first one, so that's going to show up blue. The second one's exponential. It should be hooking up a little bit and, and curving underneath that blue line, crossing it, and then kind of exceeding it after that. And it will be in red if you have the color graph. Okay, so we got to interpret it. So it's not... We had to compare the plans. That's what they're asking us to do. So the hardest part we did, we got the equations for each one, and now we plugged it in the calculator, and now the calculator is going to help us. Okay? So basically, let me kind of sketch this out. And what we see here, we're going by thousands, which is what we're doing here, and we're going by threes down here. You're going to see both of them are starting here. The blue line is going straight, and then the red line is kind of going zoop and doing that. Is that what you see on your graph? Okay. Well, what you notice is initially, initially, plan A produces more houses. So if your city council is only looking in the short term and they're saying oh in the next 10 years what would be the better plan for building houses then you would choose plan a but if you're looking for the long term but in the long term plan b is better plan b will have more houses So it really depends, you know, which way your city council or your town council goes with this. But that's how you would interpret it. And if you look at your calculator, um, we're counting on the X, 3, 6, 9, 12. It's going to be about 15. So this is going to be after 15 years. And this is going to be up to 15 years. And so, really, the pivotal point is that 15-year mark. And, it, again, like I said before, I'll reiterate, it just depends on what your town council is looking for. So, as you compare the plans, just talk about where the change starts to happen. You could say, up to 15 years, plan A produces more houses. After 15 years, plan B does. You know, something like that. So, that would definitely, definitely work. Okay, now hopefully I, that made sense to you. I'm going to leave the quick check here for you. This will be extra credit. Come up with your two equations. Um, it looks like the school A is going to be linear. They have a hundred increase of 100 students per year, so that's a rate. Um, school B, increase of 8% per year, so that's going to be exponential. So it's going to mirror what you just did in example four with me. It's going to look just like it. Come up with your two equations, put them into your calculator, adjust your window if you need to. Uh, you might need to. The numbers are a little lower. And then um, analyze it and compare the two plans. All right? Good luck with that, and thanks for listening.